Hello, Internet. My name is Carmanic, and I'm here to present you with an absolutely incredible game. It's called Parasite Eve, and it is truly one of my favorite games of all time. We're going to start a new game. There's going to be a cutscene. I'm going to shut up so you can watch it, and we'll talk some more when, uh, when the cutscene's over and I'm back. So, see you then. And I have returned. Well, I'm not in control yet, but at least we're at a cutscene country. As you can see, we're in front of what looks like a really nice place in New York City um, with a very nice dressed man and a very nice dressed woman. Uh, I don't know what their intentions... Well, well, I do know what their intentions. Uh, fine question. Um, you did want to come, or she did want to come to the opera. And her response to that is to give her name her age, and her occupation. What is he, a prisoner of war in a POW camp or something? Jeez. And her name is Aya. Now, I think that's how you say her name. I'm pretty sure that's how you say her name. Uh, Brea, I believe, is, is how you say her last name, but again, I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure the internet will correct me because no matter if you have subscribers or not, uh, they will find you and they will correct you. So... I can't think of anything else to call her, namely because, I mean, I don't have a problem with her name. My, Aya is great. I, I just frankly don't know what else I could call her. Yeah, you should have more fun. This looks, I mean, look, he went through all this trouble. That's a fine limo, and you're, you're wearing a fine-looking dress, and he's wearing a fine-looking tuxedo, and this is a really spiffy-looking location, so you, you should have some fun. Oh, wow. The best seats. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to have a ball. So anyways, this is the first time we can take control of our character. We can run around in circles like a goob. But uh, there's a place on the left and there's a place on the right. Now we could go off screen and we could look at the world map, but it really wouldn't do a whole lot of good for us right now. So we're just going to head inside. And we're going to sit here, and this guy right here is going to take his sweet-ass time to get to that door. And even when he does get to that door, he doesn't open it for us like a proper date and a proper gentleman would. See? Look at that. Look at that. I just, mm. just no chivalry anymore, is there, huh? I think that's what you call it. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. And this is our second occurrence of some really nice music. The first was the very opening cutscene. This game's loaded with really great music. It's actually loaded with really great everything, but we'll get into that some more. Um, also, I'm going to go ahead and talk over this little play section here, because to be perfectly honest, it doesn't have anything to do with the main story of the game and the grand scheme of things. This is purely a prologue and purely just for some setup and and all of that i assure you the the shit's gonna hit the fan real soon real soon sorry also if this drags out this is literally probably one of the slower parts of the game 
I think there's one other part later on that 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 I usually end up running around in circles because I usually get lost even though I've played this game quite a bit. That's the other thing I should mention. This is not a blind let's play in any form or fashion, just to let you know. Uh, I have played this game extensively in my younger years. I haven't played it in a while though, so there might be some things that I might hick up on or some things that I might miss. But overall, I do know what I'm doing. And we are going to be doing uh, all the way through, we will be doing what is called the Chrysler Building. If you don't know what the Chrysler Building is, we'll get to that later. I assure you, it, it, it's, it's, it, it, it's a trip. I'll tell you that. Another nice CG scene. This game's loaded with them. I, I really love this game. I love every single little bit of effort they put into this game. I think it all looks really, really nice. Ooh. Boy, you talking about an evil eye. See? See? Yep, people people bursting into flames. Told you it didn't take long. Now, I bet you're all wondering at this point, why are these people spontaneously just erupting into flames? I assure you, look at those couple back there. I just love it. They're just sitting there talking like nothing's going on. I assure you, folks, this is not part of the show. But, uh, yeah, there's a good reason why everybody is sitting on fire and all that stuff just, just, just out of nowhere. The game will explain it to us. Like I said, this game's story is quite amazing, in my opinion. It really, really is. Actually, the story in this game is what really originally interested me into medicine and everything that's related to it. Microbiology and genetics and, and medicine in general. That that's really what got me interested in stuff like that was was this game. Weird, I know, but it's true. And it's time now for our young strapping female cop here to you know get a hand on the situation because when bunches of people start lighting on fire, I think it's time for a cop to do something in her black silk dress with no body armor but that's fine that's fine we got a gun and that, that's that's all that really matters uh yeah i i would think that wow the guy is losing his shit that <laughs> amazing yeah that's solid a price <gasps> damn okay so we're gonna move ahead and we're gonna ask this the, this lady up here some questions mostly about the burning of the bodies and the whole fact that she's levitating in the air that that's another thing we're going to have to ask her on that that's very suspicious activity and as a police officer I, I need to interrogate this person and ask them a few fine questions and have a few words with them that's a fine word to use especially if you're a police officer yeah that is curious isn't it how how we're we're, we're fine yeah, what, exactly? Uh-huh. Yeah, another fine question. Interesting. Right. Anyways, this is our very first boss fight. Or not boss, well, the game considers our boss. I, I, I don't know. As you can see, this game doesn't lock you down. You can move around freely. You can avoid all attacks that this game basically throws at you and she just laughed at us when we shot her that that's not comforting and our character here our female chick is getting hot is she gonna burst into flames like everybody else no she's going to get something now you might have just noticed that there's a little bar there now called PE that has just appeared you may be wondering what that is that is our parasite powers essentially. That is basically this game's version of magic. But it's done in a more how can I a real world sense, I suppose, if you really want to stretch it that far. Uh, and we're just gonna continue to avoid her slow ass fucking shots and shoot her, yeah. Well, if you mean our bodies communicating each other with you shooting a really, really really easy to dodge laser and me shooting you in the face and yes we did communicate again more very fine questions 
Well, that could be nifty. I mean, flying around, all that stuff could be pretty neato, but I, I think people would start looking at me a little bit funny. Oh, name drop. Oh, how should I know you? Interesting. Yeah, this 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 white hospital-ish looking room right here, we're going to see a lot of it. Because this game likes this room for some reason. I'm not sure why. Well, I mean, of course, there's a story, you know, part of it. Another fine question by Aya Brea. Or Aya, I'm sorry. Please don't lynch me. Mm -hmm. Why don't you just shoot her ass? Yeah, exactly. I'm not through with you yet. That that's a fine. Yeah, that's exactly my thoughts. Now you can go over here. This this leads to where she was, and holy shit, that's a big hole. I'm glad she didn't use that move on us. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna grab this chest. Uh, and you may also get this chest depending on your knowledge as far as what chest looks like in this game and how easily you're able to spot that. We're gonna look at the hole. Well, I think that's kind of obvious where... Never mind. Ah, needle, back up. Now, we could jump down here, but we're not going to because... Uh, there's a little backtracking that we can do, and yes, I know, backtracking, it sucks, but to be honest with you, this is worth it. Uh, there's, there's two main reasons for, for back, for backtracking. One reason is an excellent reason. Another reason is not that good of a reason, depending on, well, how you handle that last fight. Uh, burn bodies more victims terrible just just terrible I mean all these people were trying to do was to see a nice play it's sad really oh shit uh, let, let, let everybody yeah I'm a cop exactly well you don't believe that a chick really nice looking chick in a black mini skirt or dress can't be a cop yeah let's show them their badge oh well it's definitely a place to hold a badge. Alright, we're cool now. They're not going to shoot us. We're going to talk to this large gentleman over here. Oh, look at that. He happens to have the exact same gun as us. Isn't that cool? And he gives us ammo. And if we talk to him, he gets an ammo. And he'll keep on giving us ammo for a couple times, especially if we spam it. And... Yep, he won't give us the one in his gun. Which I don't blame him, really. I don't. If we talk to this guy, uh, yeah, he kind of wonders why we don't have any injuries. We don't obviously know at this point. That's, that's really, that's, that's horrible, man. And this is another reason to come out here. This guy will, uh, he'll give us a little s serve on spontaneous combustion. And I think it'd be on TV. Well... TV movie, yeah, yeah. Let's make another horrible incident into a TV movie. Yeah, that 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 that's really cool. And he'll patch us up. Like I said, you know, the second benefit is getting patched up. If you didn't take any damage from the first fight, then there's really no point. The big point was the ammo. That that's what you want because I know it sounds odd, but running out of ammo in this game it can happen. It can. I know it sounds weird and off, and it didn't sound like it should happen, but it happens. And it's terrible and it sucks. Because then you're forced to use a, uh, a club type weapon and those, it, it's, it's bad. It, it's just bad. Let's just say that. Now I wonder if I can just make a little Yui right here instead of going all the way across the stage. Oh, I can. That saves me time. That's awesome. So we're going to jump down the hole now. And uh, we're going to see what's down here. Yeah, jump down. Well, hi there, little girl. That's some mighty fine advice right there. Mmm. What? Oh. Interesting. 
you know, I'd be less concerned with the fact that I couldn't really recognize her and be more concerned with the fact that she was semi-transparent and she walked through a door. But that's just me. Now we're going to get some generally nice music, creepy atmosphere music in this area. And that's another thing I should mention. This game... Locked. Hmm. This game was originally going for a survival horror RPG kind of experience on the locked door. And in that respect, the monster designs is easily one of my favorite parts. Like, I absolutely adore the monster designs in this game. I think they're really, really spiffy. And speaking of monster designs, let's check out this awesome cutscene. Well, that's interesting. Like, the first time I saw this scene, guys, it just blew my mind when I was uh, younger. Like, this... This was amazing, and it still is amazing. I, I still get, like, nostalgia and just, just awesome feeling when I see that. That is just so brutal and badass. Now, we're gonna get into combat with this thing, and the thing, the, the, the situation with these things is, yeah, they have a melee attack, which you just saw, but that's not the thing you need to worry about with these guys. What you need to worry about these guys is, oh, he didn't do it, I guess we killed him fast enough. They have, like, this three-shot fireball that they whip from their tails, and actually, we did get experience there. Yes, there is leveling up in this game. It is an RPG, like I said. But uh, the way they handle the battles and everything like that is very different from standard other RPGs and of that nature. Um, yeah, that's all. See, this, this lady, or Aya, is just full of really great questions. We're going to check, see what's in here. We're going to check the bodies. No interaction. No interaction. I'm going to check the lockers. Got a medicine? Handy. Oh, now she wants to talk to us now that we opened up the lockers. Yeah, exactly. Let, let's go get the, the, the paras. Or, yeah, the, the, the paramedics. That, that's a great idea. Well... If the floating whatever it was wasn't a good indication and the whole lighting people on fire isn't a good estimation, yeah, I'd say she's a little bit of a monster. Hmm, interesting. Another person lost. See, this, this is just terrible. Like I mentioned earlier, all these people, all they wanted to do was give a nice play and to give a good show. And the whole night had to be ruined because somebody likes to light people on fire. We're gonna check over here. Hey, look, it's a clown. Very suspicious. Very suspicious clown. Actually, no, he's 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 just a bit of an asshole. But that's it. We're, we're not here to rob you, dude. Exactly. Yeah. PD. Uh huh. Dude, I have a badge. I should be able to go where I want. Yeah, you, you should, yeah, you should have to evacuate. What do you mean, what? Why, why is it so difficult when the police comes in and asks you to do something, you do it? I mean, do you have any idea what I just fought out there and also the fact that the people are just spontaneously just being crisp? Hey, I wouldn't go out there. See, told you. I swear, people just don't listen, but hey, you know. You know, like, horror movies wouldn't be any good if people actually had any common sense, right? So we're going to check these lockers. Ammo. Because we need goodies. Because goodies are always good in pretty much any game. The hitbox on these lockers, for some reason, are not as good as the one on the other side. And they're a little finicky. I don't know why. I can't quite put my finger on it. So, just ammo. Now, that's interesting how there's ammo and a locker like that. I mean, I understand medicine to a certain extent, but ammo? Yep, locked. More luckiness. Alright, 
Well, the only door left is this one right here. And I know we can't open up those over there. I mean, you should know that you that we shouldn't be able to open up that door there at the end. I mean, you know, if you have any, like, survival horror, like... Oh, well. Yeah, that was a jump scare, guys. I know. Riveting, wasn't it? Like... I don't know if I mentioned this before, but this game is not scary. It, it really ain't. I mean, any game that gives you a gun pretty much immediately is not scary anymore because you can defend yourself. And why should you be scared if you can defend yourself? But then again, I don't see much of a point of the whole game is that it doesn't give you a way to defend yourself and you just hide in a corner, you know, until the monster either goes away or he kills you and then the monster disappears afterwards, which I don't see much of a point of. Yeah. Uh, phones in this game are saves. And, uh, we're gonna save here. As you see, there's a save here from before. Uh, multiple attempts just trying to get this whole thing right and testing and making sure that everything turns out well. We're gonna use standard saves. I will refrain from using save states unless there's a time that calls for it. I don't think that it's gonna happen in this game. But we'll see. Uh, and the parrot is hot. Another interesting thing, see, the parrot is hot, but he isn't blowing up and sitting into flames like some of the other people. Pretty interesting, don't you think? It seems like anyone who's here just immediately just erupts in flames, essentially. But there's some who either, hey, have a resistance to it than others, are more of a resistance to it, others are ones that just immediately just, ex just, just, boof. And we're gonna... Oh. So you can't talk to the parrot. Huh, interesting. Alright, well we saved. And I'm going to call an end to this episode right here. When we come back for part 2, there will be more. We'll explain more why, why this game is amazing. And why it's such a good title. And we will talk some more. And we'll get to know each other just a little bit better. But until then, you guys have a great day.